For two weeks starting Monday, level four social distancing for Seoul and the surrounding region. No gatherings larger than two after 6 p.m. Nighttime entertainment facilities will be shut down again. Hyun Ju sheds light on what the highest level on the four tier system would mean. Starting Monday for two weeks, the South Korean government has decided to raise the social distancing level in the capital area to the highest tier, level four. Prime Minister Kim Bugyeom said that although the new measures won't take effect until next week, he asked the public to cancel any non-essential plans starting Friday. We ask people to refrain from attending private gatherings immediately starting today. Under the new level four measures in the greater Seoul area, Private gatherings of up to two people only are allowed after 6 p.m. and up to four before 6 p.m. All events are officially banned except for weddings and funerals, which can allow the attendance of immediate family members only of up to 49 people. As for sports events, no spectators will be allowed. Religious facilities will not be allowed to hold face-to-face -face services. So events, eating and religious retreats are banned. Meanwhile, workplaces are advised to have 30 percent of their employees work from home, except for manufacturing workers. As for public facilities, restaurants, coffee shops, movie theaters, indoor sports facilities and PC rooms will have to close after 10 p.m. And late-night entertainment facilities like poker pubs and nightclubs will remain closed. The Supreme Court has advised courts in the capital region to postpone or reschedule hearings for the next two weeks. So starting next week, even if you are meeting an immediate family member, gatherings of more than two people will not be allowed after 6 p.m. Until this week, the government had made exceptions for gatherings of immediate family members, allowing up to eight. But this exception is scrapped starting Monday. However, those living together will be allowed to visit restaurants, even if there are more than two people. And if you're at a restaurant or coffee shop with four people, two will have to leave before 6 p.m. If found violating this rule, there will be fines of 100,000 Korean won, or around 87 U.S. dollars for individuals. For facilities, there will be fines of 3 million Korean won, or around $2,600. As for mask mandates, everyone in the capital region, including those who are fully vaccinated, are required to wear masks. Baeunji, Arirang News.